In this video, I want to do the color test for Benzyl. So we're not testing the fact that it's, it's a yellow powder and that benzoin that we're starting with is a white powder. We're actually going to perform a reaction with uh, sodium hydroxide and oxygen in the air. So let me just show you what that looks like here. So what we want to do is add a pinch, uh, you know, half a, half a milligram or so of benzoin. This is the starting material that we use for the chemical reaction. And we really don't need much at all. The colors are quite vibrant. So uh, that's, that's a small amount of benzoin. And that's on the left. Okay, I've positioned all of these um, guys here in the order that we're going to be adding them in the test tube. So test tube on the left is benzoin. I'm going to add half a milliliter of denatured alcohol. I'm going to cap that for now. In the middle test tube, I'm going to be uh, adding half a milligram of the uh, copper acetate catalyzed reaction. I know because I've taped that on the bottom. So using a different spatula so we don't get some contamination, we'll add just a you know, very half a milligram there. On the third test tube, we're gonna add half a milligram of the copper nitrate catalyzed uh, reaction. Okay. So benzoin, benzyl, and benzyl. Let me add half a, milli half a milliliter of denatured alcohol to the other um, samples here. Okay. And I'll cap those and uh, I'll just make sure that the uh, substance dissolves there. If it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. The, the colors are just so vibrant here. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Now, um, we want our test for the benzyl to be different than benzoin. I'll show you what the failed test will look like. So the procedure says to add one drop of 10% sodium hydroxide. Okay. So here's sodium hydroxide. And here's my single drop, okay? And what you'll notice is that um, the color has changed uh, kind of pink, like phenylphthalein, okay? So if we cap this guy up and shake it, okay? And we observe it, um, it looks to be kind of like a pink color, okay? So that's very obvious. We don't need grams and grams of material, just half a milligram and a little bit of ethanol to see that, all right? Now, when you do benzoin, I mean benzyl, it's pretty cool. Uh, let me show you what happens. So I'll do these side by side, okay? Uh, so again, this test tube in the middle is the copper acetate catalyzed reaction. Test tube on the right is the copper nitrate, okay? So I'm gonna maybe mix them up in the video, but just remember the smaller test tube is the copper nitrate. The taller one is the copper acetate. So let me add half a, well, one drop of this 10% sodium hydroxide solution to each of these guys. Okay. And let's shake these guys up. Let's do the first one, okay? So if I shake this one, you can see how uh, the color is uh, fairly, you know, it's a light yellow because the benzyl is a light yellow, okay? It did not change, it did not change purple, okay? Here's the other test tube, okay? Shake this one. You can see how the uh, color uh, does not change purple as well, okay? So that is a very good sign. It suggests that there's no uh, benzoin in the solution, okay? So here's benzoin once again. Shake this guy up. 
can see how it's a pink purple color. So that's the color test for the uh, benzyl reactions. I believe we've done all the analysis necessary on this compound. Thank you for watching.